What it do is the King 3 Stats, Grind Time, Supernova Shine, get your bank up, get your rank up. So, in this video, I'm taking a break from Classify, and I am having some fun with my He-Man figure. So, you know, what's the worst feeling in the world? To get to the store to see that you were like a minute or a couple of seconds too fucking late. So that happened to me yesterday. I dropped my daughter off at work. Then I went to Target only to see a guy walking down the aisle with all the bats and alley vipers. Then to get on the other aisle and to see a motherfucker with a strider. Now, the thing about the person on the aisle, he's looking at the box, looking in it like he don't know if he's going to decide to get it or not. So, but anyway, the punk motherfucker kept walking around with it in his hand he was seeing that i was on the aisle so he kind of got a little basket and walked around the store with it i'm pretty sure he wasn't a collector and he probably put the shit back as when you're a collector and you go to the store you grab what you got and you just go to the front and check out ain't no looking at it and you know i don't know i don't know what he was trying to size up with it you know but it just made me think he didn't want me to get it. So fuck it, I left. I goes to my second Target, runs up on my Target friend, employee up in there, and he was like, man, you just missed the bats and alley vipers. I was like, man, I ain't looking for that shit. I'm looking for Strider. He was like, oh, we got one on the aisle over there, but the box is fucked up. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> it don't matter to me. I don't care about no uh box. So... I show him a video of my bats and he's like, damn, yeah, you don't need no bats. So, but anyway, I end up picking up this guy right here. And he told me the same dude who had came, who I ran into, who got the bats at Ali Vipers, he had came to that store as well. Had a um metal armor Spider-Man in there, but I left it. He looks kind of weird. I don't know. I might get him next, but I might get them next time, but really ain't my thing right now. So it wasn't a priority. That Strider was the priority as I just pre-ordered two on Big Bass. So going to troop build Striders, everybody. So <laughs> but anyway, that's just me, you know. It's a pretty cool figure, you know. Um, it's kind of funny that they got ratcheted in the back, but don't have ratcheted in the front. And as you can see, the Masterverse Revelation does fit up in there. It, at least it's going to fit for mine. So the stand is cool. The stand is a very cool addition to this figure. But the only thing, I wasn't feeling the fence or the color that it was. So it was kind of like a light green. Really didn't even match the Castle of Grey skull. But I spray painted that joint um, gray shot a little black on it and removed the fence put a little flat coat on it so I mean looks way better to me and I think it looks better than the origins as the origins made it look kind of kitty with this gray make it look a little bit more growner but you know I'm not really into the origin line but it's a few things I will pick up here and there being that i don't really like the retro vibe on the figures if it's something more modern and um better out than the previous past products i'm probably gonna go for the latest greatest up-to-date stuff so but that's just me to each his own i gotta say in the pictures the origin figure does look pretty cool and sweet when you have them all together, but just looking at them hanging on the pegs, it's like, yeah, I can't even do it. So, but that's just me to each his own. But this Strider definitely works for the Masters of the Universe Revelation line, and I'm willing to bet it looks double awesome with the origins line itself as they are smaller and the horse look much more bigger now this is a great alternative to 
the classic line as that joint is going for 200 and something it's way bigger but hey you get the same kind of little really the same little thing up in this right here as it's articulated and the neck is articulated i don't know if the classics has ratchet in it or not but the back legs on the origin one has ratchet but they didn't do the front and i find that kind of odd i'm just glad he got articulation as battle cat should have had some articulation and panther should have had articulation in the ankles and I think that was a complete fail, but I'm glad they didn't do it with Strider or I would have been pissed. But didn't even see this coming out when they announced it. But man, I got to say, this was a good thing to put out. So probably they're going to put out the Stalker horse or whatever. And probably going to come with the same features as this one as, you know, they are retools of each other, just repaint or whatever. So, but anyway... Looks real good with my revelation. Gonna have two more whenever they come and stock with Bit Bag. If they don't clash with my other pre-orders, you know, if it crash with some troop builders, then you know I'm gonna have to get the troop builders, baby. So I gotta get my troop builders. Troop builders over anything. So to me, when it comes to collecting, my troop builders outrank everything. So, but that's just me. I'm a troop builder. So, but anyway, this the King 3 stacks. Y'all leave a like in a comment. Tell me what y'all think about this Strider horse. Do you think this worked with the Masterverse? Or you say try to go for the classics? But either way, it's going to work for me, baby. This the King. I'm out. Peace.